Welcome back, folks. Back on Tony Baloney, the little stalker here. We are over in the forest to talk to Oracle for the continuation of the main story quest here. And he's going to be downstairs here in this bunker. Whoop. Hello, Condors. How's your brother doing? How's your squad doing? I should go. Anywho, Oracle's going to be sitting over here. Hello to you too. How are you? Fighting off nightmares? Have you become a Jedi? Or are you unable to harness your powers? I had a really horrible nightmare recently, an extremely realistic one, I'd say. I would love to catch up more, but I think I know why I'm here. We are still looking for the blue sphere. What are we waiting for? Let's go. We need to find that damn sphere. Let's go. Time to find that blue sphere is hidden. Нужно сконцентрироваться. Я уже знаю, как это делать. Я отыщу этот предмет. Наш путь подходит к концу. Я вижу это. Я вижу его. Шар. Что это? Я ведь уже разглядел. Еще чуть-чуть. Я укажу тебе. Я видел его. Я знаю, где он. Я видел его. Видел. Кондор, what's going on here? They took him. I think the orderlies captured him, but they took him prisoner and didn't kill him on the spot. They must need him alive. We aren't abandoning Oracle. I'm sure we can rescue him. I'll go see Shaman and we'll think of something. And that gives us the quest, Oracle's Abduction. Calm down, Condor. I'll save Oracle, I promise. I'm going to Shaman right now and we'll work out a plan. And now we are just returning all the way back to the bar. So I'll see you guys here in a second. Alrighty, we are back at Shaman here in the bar. I'm gonna talk to him again. Oracle's been kidnapped, managed to find the sphere, but at the last moment, the orderly showed up. It was a fiasco. No, he didn't tell me. We must rescue him before it's too late. What's the point in guessing? Time is working against us. We need to do something to save Oracle. Calm down, Shaman. We won't solve any problems arguing. Good, what's our plan? What about me? Another base that I have to attack? How do we know it's not a trap? Where's the meeting taking place? Time to play spy, all right. Fingers crossed, this isn't a trap. And quest Oracle's abduction is complete, and now we have I. And the guy we gotta meet's way up in the army warehouses. I uh, highly suggest not taking anything up there that you don't want to lose. Once you get up there, you're gonna go into the orderly base and you'll kind of be locked into there for the most part. And it's a pretty lengthy quest chain up there. Empty out your bags of everything that you don't need and don't want to lose. Don't do like I did and go to the orderly base part of the main story quest without at least a Rad 2 suit on. I went in the Seeker's Hawk and it's only got 180 Rad protection and you have to go through a bunch of Rad 2 areas. And even if you make it to the orderly base and get inside and you're fine, when you get kicked out of the orderly base after that part of the mission's done and everything, you end up in the Red Forest, which is another Rad 2 slash Thermal 1 slash Psy 1 so just if you can make sure you have on a science suit of some sort before you go up there with at least rad two just a little fair warning before you head to the orderly base and i'm gonna head up there and i'll see you guys here in a second all right we are where we need to be now this is a rad two area which your suit from the quest does not do rad two so i'm actually having to pop the army first aid kit which are keeping me okay let's talk to i too much radioactive fallout in the zone and you're a defector from the orderlies seems like you already know who i am we need a different type of information right now. What do you mean? Cannon fodder, so to speak. That's it. And so Oracle is really alive. He's okay. What does that mean? What are you saying? Farther the better. Okay, what else do I need to do? Now you can talk to him about all this stuff. I'm just going to cycle through it all. And no more questions. Time to get to work. And that completes the quest, the eye. And now you get the quest, orderly base. And let's see if I can actually live. Okay, we're down to a rad one area right over here. So if you have a Rad 2 suit or a scientist suit, you will need at least Rad 2 in there. Okay, you do need a Rad 2 to get into the base as well. Like once you get right up to the base, it's Rad 2. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to keep popping these med kits because once we get inside, there's nothing. All right. Cleaning the world of infection. Don't forget your rubber gloves. Gosh, that'd be terrible. I hope they don't. I'm going to join one of the Northern Expeditionary Squads. That completes Orderly Base. And then you get Saving Oracle and Orderly Base Outer Yard Quest. And then it teleports you inside. And I'm gonna let this rad wear off. Once you come in the front door here, we're gonna be going... We're just gonna make a huge clockwise circle. So we're gonna be going over here. We're gonna talk to this guy. Sanyanov is still recovering from canned meat that gave him food poisoning. He farts all the time, so if I'm anywhere near him, I prefer to keep my gas mask on. You know what I mean? Interesting advice. Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and talk to him. One of the first ways and the easiest way to get from the outer yard and into the hangar is to talk to the orderly right here who tells you that this guy ate canned meat and got sick. Then you talk to Sanyanov. Why can't I go in? Come on, cut me some slack. I need to get to the infirmary. I've been poisoned, ate some dodgy canned meat. My guts are tying themselves into knots. It's the second option down. 
He got poisoned as well, so he'll let you in. Yes, they definitely poisoned me. Thanks a million, dude. Port you right into the hangar. That's the easiest way to get in. I'm going to show you the other ways as well. So we'll turn right back around and go back out. Now, once you come back out and go to the right here, right in here, there's going to be a note. This is going to be the page from the orderly's diary number two. Uh, it's getting worse. My hands are shaking. My voice is shaking. What the hell is happening to me? It's not a hangover. Maybe it's something I ate. Can't explain it. Just sat down for a quick break. Can't get to sleep. Something's wrong. Really wrong. This is a shitty feeling. I'm so tense. I started tearing my diary into pieces. There must be a logical explanation. I think I'll go for a walk in the inner courtyard. Have a chat with intestine. He's a brainy type. I can trust him. Maybe he'll have some advice for me. There's nothing we can do with that yet. So we'll just walk past it gonna come on around here this yellow barrel right up top is gonna be another diary note this is gonna be the bloodstone note morgan found my notes read them and laughed i think he's gonna take them from me he tore out a few pages no fight left in me the pain's gone i feel nothing it's like i don't even exist i am not me this is the end open this gate up and run through you're gonna run this way Before we talk to him, we're going to go in this second tent right here. There's a small backpack, page from the orderly's diary number one. And this one says, started feeling weird. My head's pounding. No idea what's wrong. Vision's blurry. There's a ringing in my ears. It's exactly like what I told the enlistment officer when I was trying to avoid being drafted. Back then, I made it all up. This time, it's real. I think I need to take a walk, stretch my legs, get some air. Somewhere quiet away from everyone. Behind the hangar, maybe. Then we're going to come this way shoot all the way around all this and there's going to be another crate we can click on bloodstain note number one will not break they torch me over and over they call us blessed animals when morgan chuckles as he twists my cellmates intestines with his knife i ask myself one thing do they consider themselves human there's nothing left but pain so after we leave those crates we're gonna head this way We're going to go all the way up in here. Hang on right. Click on the shelf. Intestines note. Get a load of this. I've been told to come up with a code for that stupid crate of valuable junk. Obviously, this is exactly why I joined the orderlies. Such a great help to fight against the bless. Plus, once the code gets hacked, who are they going to point fingers at? That's right, me. Code he chose was far too simple. Bastard, I'll ask wise guy for help. Jeez Louise, yeah, I've known him for seven years. And that should be all of the notes you can get in the exterior courtyard, if I'm remembering correctly. So now we're going to run all the way back around here and we're going to do the quest for the hell's this guy's name stitch stick so we're going to do the quest for stick i just joined the rank of the orderlies my first day it depends on what you have in mind says he lost his report can't you just redo it that all sounds great but where do i look for it so you get the quest sticks report well it's basically an impossible mission of course i'll do it so now we're going to run all the way around here and we're going to talk to the fella in this tent directly in front of me this guy will stop you once when you're running around here relax i'm one of the new recruits i'll find something to do right away and we're going to talk to kashin stick sent me drew up a report after his last mission but misplaced it somewhere someone stole the report i take it you're not the biggest fan of stick Oh, based on your attitude to Stick, you fit perfectly as a suspect. And he says that Stick and Woody had words, so thanks for the tip. Let's run back and talk to Woody. Woody's going to be back over here. Heard you and Stick had heated words recently. Stick didn't take you on the last mission. Now his report from that mission's gone missing. He said he stole it to teach him a lesson. Can you give me the report? It's in the trash heap behind the hangar. So you say, I see. Now we got to run all the way around here. And it's going to be this pile of boxes. Go through the trash. And that ends Stick's report. And you get the quest damaged report. Seems that this is Stick's report. Now he'll reward me. And we're just running all the way back to Stick now. I'm going to lie to him. Last time I didn't, I gave him the report. But I'm going to lie to him and see if this is another way in. So I'm going to say, I found your report was hidden in the workshops in order to teach you a lesson. Sadly, I don't have access. 
the workshops. Damn it, I don't have time to dig through all the paperwork in the workshop. Somebody else could do it. You're a good helper. Think you could assist me again? Of course, stick. No need to ask. So he gives us a pass to get in the workshop. So this is the second way you can get in the workshop. And that completes damage report. And now we get sticks pass. Whatever you say, I'm off to find your report. So let's go turn this into Luzgan. So Luzgan's going to be up here. It's guarding the door. I have a pass from Stick. He said I should show it to you. Sir, let this one through. He has a pass. Okay, cool. I should go. That ends Stick's pass. And now you go inside. That's the second way, like I said. And now I'm going to show you the third way. Okay, so we're back out in the courtyard. The third way to get inside the, the hangar is to go back here and talk to the mechanic. His name is Tarmac. That's the door we went in after we told the guard right there that we got sick from food poisoning. So he's just going to be straight out from that. So you talk to Tarmac, something the matter, saying that he's having problems with the engine, so I can help. What about tools? I think I've got it. So now we get a quest called Under the Hood, and you get an item list of critical issues and other possible issues. Don't worry about that shit. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here, click the engine, examine the upper part. So the first thing we're going to do is click the timing belt and we're going to try and find the white line. Align the line on the belt with the line of the cog and that fix that. So we'll go back to examining the belt, go back to examining the upper part, look at the camshaft, go back to examining the engine. So we're, now we're going to look at the camshaft. It says the only thing that draws your attention is a small scuff in the center. Try to get it out. We're going to need a 17 wrench. So we click on the toolbox, first section, 17 millimeter open-ended wrench, go back, upper part of the engine, camshaft, unscrew the camshaft mount. Now we get the old camshaft, leave. Click on the box of spare parts and it automatically gives you the new one. Now we're gonna go back to the engine, upper part of the engine, camshaft again, put the camshaft in place. Go back to examining the engine. Go back, middle part of the engine. We're going to examine the piston next. So click on the pistons. Look at the piston heads. Try to remove the pistons head, and you're going to need a hammer. So now we click back on here, put the tool back, go to the second section, take a hammer, back to the middle part of the engine, go to the pistons, the piston heads, try to remove the piston head using the hammer. Now we have the old piston head. Go back to the parts box. Now we have the new piston head. Now we need to put the tool back and we need to get the press tool. Now we go back to the middle part of the engine, the pistons, piston heads, put the heads back in place. Now they're back and that should be done. Make sure you put the tool back before you leave because it weighs quite a bit. Walk back over to tarmac, try to start the engine and it starts up. That's great. Hey, actually, since I helped you out, is there any chance any more work is available? And he says he's going to send us inside to see if anybody needs any work inside the workshops. So we get a thousand rubles, a bottle of apple cider, and Tarmax Pass, which is the third way inside the workshop. So under the hood is complete, and now we get Tarmax Pass. And this one's going to send us over to talk to Bashlakov. I have a pass from Tarmac. He said there might be work in the workshops. Great. So can I go through? Got it. And Tarmac's pass is now complete. So we're inside three different ways and continuing. All right. Once you get in here, come over here and click on this crate. And you're going to receive rat poison, which you'll need here in a little bit. So just go ahead and put that in your inventory and let it sit. Continuing on from the rat poison right here, we're going to hang to the left. Come inside here, and there's going to be another note we can get. This is going to be the bloodstain note number two. I think almost all my ribs are broken. I think Morgan has it out for me. He's been working me over with extra sadism for three days, but it's no hurry to kill me. Close my eyes and see the blue glow. The endless torture makes me feel the glow is dimming. It'd be funny if after going through all this hell, I actually stopped being blessed. I'm going to still hang left here. There's a building map right here you can interact with. Among the pile of different blueprints, you spot a layout of the headquarters. You might be able to find something useful. Carefully examine the layout. On the first floor, there's another checkpoint. After carefully examining the layout, you notice a vent in the generator room leading to the next room. Maybe you can use it to avoid the checkpoint, but it probably won't be easy to get into the generator room. So now you got a quest called Generator Room. Still hanging left here. 
There's nobody in here that you can talk to to do anything, so just go up the stairs here. Hang on a right, and we're gonna click on this toolbox, and you take your lock picking tools out of it. So you get lock picking tools out of this box. Going back downstairs. We're staying in this little area for now. Continuing on. Stack of papers. He asked uh, Volt if he's in charge of running the electric generators. And he says he's in charge of running everything, always running here and there. That includes the generator room. Only one of our generators in the first floor has been on the fritz. I'm up to my ears and work. No time to go and check it out. Maybe I can help you out. I can examine the generator. Sure, I know lots about electrical generators. I wouldn't have offered help otherwise. What power output is necessary for an industrial grid? Now, these answers are going to be found on the paper that I clicked on when I entered this room before talking to Volt. So if you really want to find these answers on your own, you can always screenshot that paper, then come and talk to him with the screenshot pulled up. But I will be giving you the correct answers in the video. 380 volts for the industrial grid. So go ahead and tell him that. And if output is displayed in volt amperes, how would you convert it to watts? If you multiply the volt amps by the output coefficient, he says, fine, fine. I didn't mean to offend you. No biggie. So will you take the help? And he gives us the key to the generator room. That completes generator room and we get generator room doorway. So that's another way to get past the checkpoint. You can go in the generator room and crawl through the little crawl space. You can keep going this way. Now back over here, we're going to have the navigator and he's going to have a quest that's a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. Are you a radio operator? Isn't there an actual radio operator here? Seems like you're not having much luck filling in for him. Okay, let's try and figure it out. I figured that the station itself works fine, yada, yada, yada. And you tell him I'll try. And now we get the quest Navigator's Problem. Got it? I'll try and get all that done. And what you're going to have to do here, so this is the time to familiarize yourself with this radio transmitter. You can see what the first row of buttons do. These are just the channels, one through five. The second row is the frequencies. So low watt, medium wattage, strong watt, I guess. 3.57 millihertz. And the bottom one is the regulators all the way from 10 to 50. So once you talk to him again, he's going to start a quest and he's going to give you a big list of them. He's going to be like channel one, this many millihertz, yada, yada. And you have to do them in a certain amount of time. And if you take too long, you fail and have to start over. You can do it as many times as you want. You can try as many times as you want. So there's no like you fail it, you're done. But it is very annoying. So let's get it going. I've examined your transmitter. Now ready for battle is complete and you get radio technician. And you see it on the bottom right there. It says one point, uh, channel one, seven millihertz. So channel one, seven millihertz. And then the SW. So that one worked. Now he's gonna throw us out another one. Channel three, second row, 3.5. Regulator to 30. And then channel 5. And that one's good. Regulator to 50. Channel 2. LW. Channel 4. And then regulator to 20. Bingo! And there, that's that's how you do it. It's just, it's annoying. It really is. I'll probably throw up on the screen in red text what the inputs are for each step so that you can pause the video and look back and forth at it. It makes it easier if you can actually see it because they disappear off the screen way too fast. So now we go over here and talk to the navigator again. He says, yeah, I guess I should thank you somehow. Well, can you help me get past the checkpoint? Piece of cake, here's a pass. So this is the second way to get past the checkpoint. That completes Jack of all trades and you get the navigator's pass. Now we're going to come out of where the navigator is here and we're going to go through this first door and we might as well just go around the right side here. I don't think there's any notes right here, right here. There's going to be one over here. This is going to be the orderly's diary number three. Blue light. When I close my eyes, I see blue light. Anything but that, I need to breathe to calm down. I think I have a fever. When we were talking, intestines seemed on guard. I tried to get out of here as fast as I could. The last thing I needed to be shot where I stand. I need to hide somewhere at the base, somewhere out of the way, where I can take a breather. 
So now we're going to talk to the intestine sitting here. Is the food really so bad you have to stick to field rations? He said the problem's rats, and the rats are in the warehouse right now. Since the floor of the warehouse collapsed, does that mean the rats are gone? He says, nope. They fled into the vents, and nobody knows how to kill them. And nobody has time to deal with it. And then we get the quest Rat Catcher. He said he did have some rat poison in one of the crates in the hangar, so we've already gotten that on the way in. Well, enjoy your meal. Thanks for the information. All right, so after we're done talking to him, we're going to head this way and try to get into the warehouse, which... That's not hard. Just walk in. All right. Once you're in here, we're going to go into the left here. Walk past this guy, and there's going to be something else to interact with here in the fridge. This is going to be Morgan's note. I was just counting how many blessed I bumped off last week. Cut one of their throats myself, tortured three others for a while. The other two were tougher. Nabbed four more out on patrol. Wanted to toss them into anomaly to, just to see it tear him to bits. Ended with one getting so mangled in a vortex, made his pal drop dead of a stroke. Found a nice lighter for the rest of them, but then the orders from HQ said we had to start bringing them in alive. So I'm sitting here thinking about it all, and wham, Volt shows up asking me for some kind of number for a code. Nearly made me lose count. I swear, if he creeps up on me like that again, I'll strangle him. So after you're done with that, turn around and head back out. We're going around to the left still. There's going to be a guy in a bed right here. And we can use the bedside table and pick the lock. And this is just like a trial and error thing. It's not the same twice in a row, but... To pick a lock, you have to have tension. Then you have to set the pins one at a time. When you try to set the first pin, your tool hits the second one, setting it in the right position. So the second one's set, so now we still need to set the first one. It oversets and jams, so now we have to partially release the tension on the lock to let them reset. Increase the tension, set the first pin. It oversets and jams, so partially release the tension. Set the first pin. Increase the tension. Set the first pin. It oversets and jams. Partially release the tension. Increase the tension. Set the first pin. It sets into the right position. Set the second pin. It jammed on the second pin, so re partially release the tension. Increase the tension again. Set the first pin. Second one is now set. We accidentally set it in its position, trying to do the first one. Set the first pin. You set the first pin into the right position, so let's try the third pin. So the third and fourth pins jam, so partially release the tension. Increase the tension. Actually, let's see what happens if we try to set them all. All right. Increase the tension, set the first pin, set the second pin. We're going to partially release it. Increase the tension again, set the first pin, set the second pin, partially release the tension. You're just sitting here doing this back and forth until you finally get them all. Set the second pin, set the third pin, set the fourth pin. Finally, it, w it went through. Open the crate. And we get the injured officer's pass. So wounded officer's pass received, take it and leave. Uh, and I always right here, this guy starts freaking out pretend has nothing to do with you and quickly leave so now we have three ways to get past this checkpoint right up here but before we go to do the checkpoint we're going to go to the left and check these lockers there's another note wise guy's note intestine can't come up with a code for some equipment crate of his and ask me for help he figured two heads are better than one Maybe three even. After all, if we combine our efforts, we'll get the best results. So I decided to phone a friend too. Secretary is over there and we can throw in his two cents. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in this door right here. This is for Volt for the generator room, which let me pull that one up. So you go in this door. Now that we have the key, there's also going to be crates in here you can interact with and you get Volt's note. The secretary came by is trying to come up with a code of some kind, a tough one. I asked him my favorite question. What power output's necessary for an industrial grid? He didn't know. Totally clammed up. How could they trust somebody like that to choose a code? I told him the right answer and he said, okay, okay, the first number will do nicely. Then asked me to come up with the last part of the code. What did I say? Let Morgan handle that. All right, so now that we're in here, we don't actually have to do anything with this, but you can, you can climb up into this grate right here. And when you drop down, you're on the other side of the checkpoint. This is the first way to get past the checkpoint. Now, once we're in here, there's a cupboard right here we can interact with, and we get secretary's note. Why does everyone have to keep distracting me from my work with all the kinds of stupid requests? Why this guy wants me to help him come up with some kind of code? I don't even know what he wants from me. What kind of code? I decided not to waste too much time on it. I remember my pal from Covenant who told me about some of the moronic teachings, Volt can manage the rest of the code. He likes to come up with logical brain teasers. So once you're done at the cupboard, you can turn around this way. And you can technically just sneak around this guy. You don't even have to go talk to him. But we're going to because I'm going to show you the other ways to get through here. Now, the wounded officer's pass, you can talk to him. You can say, I have a pass from Navigator or I have a pass here. Actually, look, which is the wounded officer's. 
So that completes Navigator's Pass. Now you can't actually turn in the Wounded Officer's Pass because it's to the same guy, but either way that you did it, you could either get the pass from Navigator or you could get the lockpick and get the pass from the Wounded Officer, which is in the bed back here. And that's three different ways to get past this checkpoint right here. So now we're running past him. We're gonna go around to the right right here. And there's an iron cabinet that we can actually interact with. And that's gonna be the page from Orderly's Diary number four. And it's going to say a television. As a kid, I always felt better when I watched TV. You can turn off your brain and forget everything. Everything fades. I should get a TV. So now we're immediately gonna go back outside because we know that there was an orderly out there watching TV in the courtyard. And the orderly that we found their diary is blessed. And he's right there when you come out the door. Talk to him. So do all blessed love watching the box as much as you. Stop pretending I found the pages from your diary. Calm down. What are you offering? Says he's got a little stash on the base. Here's the key to it. Take everything that's in it. Just please don't tell anyone that you found me out. In that case, you should go find Shaman. He might be able to help you. Just don't forget to take your uniform off first. And he gives us the key to his stash. And now we get the blessed orderly. Okay. And we're just going to turn right back around and go back inside here. And it's going to be right back here by where the wounded officer was. Just in the corner. Open it with a key. You get three more cheap tools, a big bag of army first aid kits, thousand repair parts, and two steroids. And that completes that quest. Moving forward. Still heading this way. We're now going upstairs. I'm going to go around the corner here. And this is secretary. He don't want to talk to you, but... There's a stack of papers right behind them we can click on. Might come in handy. Take the permit. And we get a permit to requisition supplies that is unsigned. And it says you take the permit, but you catch the attention of the secretary. Now, you can either return the permit, ask him if he's drunk, and be like, I didn't take anything. You can offer to pay him 40,000 rubles, or just knock him the fuck out, which is what I'm going to do. Punch the secretary. And permit to requisition supplies has been received, and he is night-night. After you knock him out, we're going to go back downstairs where we just came from. Go back over to here. And there's a stack of papers right here. Now the permit to requisition supplies is complete and make a signature is received. If you check the sample document, it's been filled out and signed by the orderly quartermaster. His signature is found in several places. They're all using a red pen. So after you click on the documents there, you come over to this desk, use a red pen, making a signature is complete and access to the warehouse is received. We have a permit to requisition supplies. So now that we have the permit to requisition supplies, the first way to get past the next checkpoint is the rat poison that we picked up earlier. The second way to get past the next checkpoint is the permit to requisition supplies that we just got. And now I am going to show you the third way to get past the next checkpoint. This next area right here, we have to stay back because these guys, if you get too close to them, they will kick you back downstairs, but they do not turn around. So you can just run past them when they're looking the other way. We're gonna go down this hallway here. Don't get close to that guy over there. And we're coming back here to the computer. Use the laptop, start hacking. I don't really understand this, this thing. This first line is 72105398864. And every time you choose one, you see how many of the matches are correct and you have three times you can make mistakes. So I'm gonna go down. Let's just confirm that one. Four of them are right and the rest are wrong. So let's try this one way down here. That one's completely wrong. Let's just try that one. Oh, got it right. I honestly don't understand the, the, the whole way to, to do this, but you can just kind of finger bang your way through it. Somehow I got lucky there. Log in. And you get the item dossier on a military officer and the quest fake identity is received. Now, before we go back and talk to this guy at the checkpoint right here, we got to go talk to that guy right there. Before we talk to him, open this dossier and screenshot it because he's going to ask you all these questions off of this thing. And if you get one wrong, you fail the quest. Granted, there's two other ways to get past him, so it's not that big of a deal. You can do the rat poison or you can do the permit to requisition supplies. I'm going to go ahead and show you how this one goes. Screenshot that. We're going to go talk to this guy right here now. And when you get too close to him, he automatically starts to talking to you. I'm Officer Mikhayev. I'm here for a meeting with your commander. And that's the guy's name that we stole his 
is a dossier. You're supposed to arrive next week, plus your face is different. Shouldn't your jaw be a bit more square? You got plastic surgery and arrived early. This is just a formality, right? You'll let me through? He has a few extracts from our dossier here. State your full name, which is Konstantin Zakharov Zakharovich Mikhaev, which is the very first one here. Where were you born? And it is in Cherubievo, which is spelled wrong on this. It's going to be the third one here. And it says, when did you work for the Ukrainian Minister of Internal Affairs? You worked for the Russian Ministry of Affairs, so I never worked there. And Quest Fake Identity has been complete. He says, okay, I believe you. And you say, no biggie, so long. Now you can walk past him at your leisure. But I'm going to go show you the other place we can go. This fellow right here in the same room with the laptop. You can talk to him and you can either tell him I've got poison for the rats or I have a permit to requisition supplies. So you tell him one, you can't tell him the other. So I can't show you the other one, but it's the same thing. And now access to the warehouse is complete. And once you're in here, there's a bunch of rats down here and they don't attack you. So you can just kill them with a melee because you can't actually shoot in here. And then if you click on this green crate down here in the bottom, you'll get two domestic field rations, a pouch of guides, first aid kits, steroids, and a Hercules. And then to get past the checkpoints, you'll climb this ladder, come up here, lie down, climb with the Q button, just like you would anything else. And you're going to crawl through this vent. Now, once you drop out of the vent, don't go around this corner because that's where that checkpoint guy is. So make sure you drop out of the vent. You go up the stairs. Don't go down the stairs. You'll fall down. There's nothing down there. All right. Now, once you're up top here to the right, there's going to be another little Metal Gear Solid section where there's a guy that will throw you back downstairs. But if you come all the way over here, there's going to be a safe right here. And it's going to need a code that is compiled from... The code is in all these five right here. So intestine, Volt, Morgan, wise guy, and secretary. Intestine is the first one. He says he's going to go ask wise guy. So wise guy's note's going to be second. And wise guy says he's going to ask secretary. So secretary is going to be third. Secretary says he's going to go and ask Volt. Volt's going to be the fourth. And Volt says he's going to go ask Morgan. Now you're supposed to be able to extrapolate the code for this safe by using these notes. But I know for a fact that the code is 76834 and you see seven on here. I don't know where they get the eight, three and the six and the four from. I don't understand how any of that goes into there. But if you understand how they're getting seven, six, eight, three, four out of these notes, please put in the comments below because I have no idea. But that's the code. Seven, six, eight, three, four. And you get a pouch of 762 sniper ammo, the Blessed Tears weapon camo, a pouch of guides, first aid kits, and 1200 repair parts. Take them all and leave. And now we're just heading back around here. And we're waiting on that guy to walk away. We're just going to follow him. Be careful though, because once he gets either up here or up there, he does this weird little spinny move. I think it's when he gets to the other side over here. Yeah, see, he spins back towards you, so you got to be careful there. All right, we're going to talk to this jailer here. Rough day, huh? What people do they make you hurt? I can tell right away you are a man with a kind, delicate soul. You should rest. I'll cover you. You're one to talk about smells. Go to sleep. Now, what's this here on your belt? And you take his keys. So now the quest saving Oracle is complete. You get the keys off of his waist belt there and you enter the prison here. Th this guy is hovering. Jesus. He's a magician. Uh, anywho, <laughs> Oracle's over here in the cell. Stay calm. I'm here to get you out. This location is near the radar, right? Go on. The Scorcher works in a similar way. How do I avoid it? And he said there's a device to help me. So where's the device? And he says it's in the office right next to here. If the orderlies raise the alarm, I'll never get out. There are too many of them. And he says there's an exit on the roof. So I say, what? Is there not anything I can do? The quest Oracle in prison is complete. And now the quest Psy Protection has been received. So take care. And since we killed Linden in this playthrough, we have to do this on our own. Otherwise, Linden would help us. So let's go ahead and hit this.
That is the loudest music and there's no way to turn it down. Once you take them out, you come click on this shelf and side protection is complete and the great escape has been received. Forgot about him. And now we're just running to the uh, helicopter over here. Shut up and listen. You have two options. Either get in the helicopter and take me out of here or I knock your brains out. Great escape's complete. Now the living dead has been received. And here's old Morgie Poo. I know you. I've seen you. You won't stop me from leaving. I'm not falling for this morgue. Through you, I don't buy it. Pilot, let's go. And now living dead's complete and debrief has been received. Тот самый последний момент, когда этот ураган будет разрывать тебя на куски, задумайся, не проще ли было преклонить колени? So to start off, you just have to run in a direction until it teleports you back. There we go. And now we're able to drop down underneath the helicopter. And we're going to run this way, drop down again, and again, checkpoint received. And we're kind of just making our way through here. Hang a left and a right and a left. And then we're going to go up here and climb through. Gonna keep running, drop down again. Go through this, whatever this is, checkpoint. And we're gonna go and click this little lever and then blow up when we touch the door. Another checkpoint. And we're at the point now when you drop down, there's gonna be rats. So we're just sprinting all the way through, going up and climbing. Cause once you get up here, they can't catch you. I'm gonna go to the right right here drop down follow the candles and we're jumping into this thing once you come out we're just gonna walk through the grass here hanging a right another checkpoint maybe i should look at the tower on the hill which is over there and this is the uh, metal gear solid section which is just so much fun so we're gonna go to the left here he's gonna go to the right the next guy is gonna come from the left right here And we're just going to chill right here in the grass, waiting on him to come back past. There he goes. We're going to go where he was at. Sprint over here. There should be a guy coming from over there now. There he is. 
We're going to hide behind this tree. Just going to follow him up. Sprint because there's a guy right behind this tree right now. Run this way. Do not go to that guy. You're going to go to the right right here. Sprint across. He saw me, but I don't care. Because this is a checkpoint. All right. Let's try to flip this bad boy on. And it says, find the spark plug. So we're heading this way. And we're going to jump into the teleporter here. We're going to turn around once you zone in. Go this way. Go up to the left. Dogs are here, so we got to do the whole jump climb thing. They can't get up here. We're going to drop down this way and go to the left. And now we get to do this fun section. We'll try to get all these dogs attentions and get them to the far right over here because we're going to go to the left and climb this ladder. I really wish I could get that dog's attention. See if I can get him on this side over here because then we're going to jump this way. And run straight for this ladder. Get these dogs' attentions. See if I can get these guys. Yeah, come here. I'm gonna drag them all the way on this side. Because I'm going for that ladder right there. See if I can grab this dog. Come here. Whoopie. Hey, there we go. Let's drag them back this way. And then once you see a bunch of them on the backside, because it takes them a second to run around, we're sprinting this way. Jump climb. And then we're going for that ladder the same exact way. And we're good now. Heading up this way. Continuing on. We're going to go to the right here up this little hill. And drop down and touch the generator. Take the spark plug. Technical fault is complete. And now we have hasty repairs. It's continuing on the only way we can go. Going to the left. And we're going to jump back into this bad boy. Now we're back here. Going back up around the corner here to the generator to put the spark plug in. AC repairs is complete. Flip the switch. Heading back this way to flip this switch. Oh, I'm out of whiskey. Heading on this way. Gonna go up the hill here. We're going to run. Oh, don't touch that. We're going to run all the way across this bridge. Continuing straight. There's another checkpoint. I'm going to hang a left here. Drop down and go across this bridge. Now we're going to be jumping up on this. All right. So in my, my other playthrough on YouTube, I went to the right up here when we dropped down. I'm going to try going to the left because somebody in the comment section said you can go to the left and it's easier. So. You have to crouch past this guy. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you just sprint, even if they see you, you can get here and climb the ladder and they don't come after you. So yeah, that is easier. And now we're just going to head around here. Hanging a left and a right. All the way around into the teleport. Okay, once you drop down, we're going to be going through this. We're going to be going northwest, west-northwest. All the way back this way. And now we have to deal with rats. Which, honestly... I'm just going to kill them as they come. One at a time. Because it's a pain in the ass trying to run from them. Plus, I'm like a Vander Holyfield here, just... You. Okay, there's a lot down there. So I'm going to run some of these through the black hole over here. And I'm just going to let those guys die to the vortex. Now that that's taken care of. And there's also a grave up here that apparently you can get them to run into. And they can't get out of that. So worst comes to worst, you can bring them all around here and get them stuck in this grave. But we are just heading on now. We're going to climb up this ladder. And we're going to jump out onto the roof. Climb this ladder. Tightrope walk this. Another ladder here. Going to be going up this tower. And jumping off checkpoint. And we get another dog section. Yay. I'm actually going to let my health regen back to full before we do this, just because dogs are a pain. Should be good to go. All right. First one down. There's a lot of dogs over there. I'm honestly going to try... Instead of going to that one and to the other one, I'm going to try going this way. Hanging a left right there. And jumping up on the, the next one here. Okay. And then the next one's all the way back there. So let's get the dogs over here. And full health, full stam. We're going to sprint. All the way through. And we're just going to be climbing this ledge. And we're good to go. They can't get up that. Continuing on. New checkpoint. And we're headed toward this ladder. Which you can actually make that full jump. Aiming toward that one. Make that. Then we're going to be jumping to this one. And climbing this ladder. We're going to be going up this one. Angling this way to the left and jump into that one following the walkway to the pretty pink walkway and dropping down now we're just going to run 
all the way toward that teleport. And there's Condor. Condor, what are you doing here? Damn it, I lost all my gear. And he says they found it. That'll really help me. Things proved more difficult than expected. No, but they aren't hurting Oracle. They need him. We can use that. Calm down, Condor. We'll find a way to deal with the orderlies, and then we can free Oracle. Do you know where they are right now? And another nightmare is complete, and war never changes has been received. I really do feel bad about what happened, Condor, but all is not lost so long. And he gives us all our stuff back. And we are way up here in the damn red forest it looks like so let's head this way which this is kind of terrible because we're in rad 2 zone we're gonna have to do this with med kits so i'm essentially i'm just having to pop med kits to keep my rad down so we have to go all the way down around the thermal of course i guess it doesn't matter now all right, well, we're heading to Shaman, who's way up in the army warehouses. Before we run all the way back up to the army warehouses and meet Shaman to continue the quest, I'm going to go ahead and end this part of the video here. Uh, I'm trying to keep it from being too god-awful long for one upload. The next video will pick up with us going to talk to Shaman and then heading to the radar after that. So if this video helped you, I'll go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one, and I will catch you in the next video. Y'all take it easy.